Thomas. Yes. O'Shea. Yeah. We brought you here today to take a lie detector test. Understood. Please, our relationship <laughs> needs this. <laughs> One of you will be taking the test while the other interviews. Okay. Then we'll have you switch. Oh. So who wants to be in the hot seat first? I'll go. Damn. Yes. I've been doing push-ups, so, you know. Are you trying to give me the, the cold? Are you trying to give me the interrogator? I'll be asking the questions. <laughs> <laughs> Is your name Thomas Stephen Middleditch? Yes. Are you 37 years old? Yes. Allegedly. Both of your parents, they're British, correct? Yes. Can you do a convincing British accent? From what region? Yes or no, sir? Yes. Would you say you're good at accents and impressions? Yes. Can you do an impression of me? Yes. That's fair. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grow up in British Columbia? Yes. I would like to hear this impression of me that you think you can do. Still hung up on the impression thing. Okay, fair. Um, <laughs> let's see. I don't see what's funny. <laughs> You're right. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now I do. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded just like me. Yeah, <laughs> I got you. Would you say you're a proud Canadian? Yeah. Oh. You speak French? Oui. Describe me in French. Tu es un homme et tu es de jambon, <laughs> mais tu ne tu n'es pas un I don't know. Sounded like the N-word was in there. <laughs> Do you s <laughs> no. What's the most French thing about you? Uh, my big ass nose. Oh. <laughs> it's a Roman nose. Okay. Are Canadians better people than Americans? No. Well, that's good to know. Have you ever met Justin Trudeau? Are you giving me this a photo? As if I wouldn't know who the hell the greatest prime minister of all time is. JK, he's not. Oh. Like every other prime minister, full of broken promises. He said he's about the environment. The guy's a has been. That's uh, cool you do push ups and you know about math. That's cool <laughs> about that, dude. Would you want him as your president? Yeah. <laughs> Would you consider yourself a geek? I don't like labels. Do you think going to Renaissance fairs is the geekiest thing about you? No. Then what is? I thought these were supposed to be yes or no questions. <laughs> <laughs> well, does being a geek help you with the ladies? Yeah. You tell me. Nice. <laughs> I got one, didn't I? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. You don't even know what we're up to on a Friday night. <laughs> Have you ever played video games for more than 12 hours straight? Oh, yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, come on. <laughs> I'm not a f***ing amateur. 12 hours? <laughs> Minimum, So dude. much more a day. Minimum. Your Twitch account? Yeah. Middle Twitch. It's... Has it been active in two years, is that correct? That's correct. Is that because you have a private Twitch account? No. It's because I didn't like teenage boys making fun of me on the internet. Mm. They're, um, they're pretty savage. So did you think that Middle Twitch was a clever name? Middle Twitch is the thing that the fans came up with. I thought it was pretty fun. So it was hashtag Middle Twitch on Middle Ditch. Oh, well, yeah. were you ever cyber bullied on Twitch? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was. Look, honestly, I looked over at the dude and like he quivered his lip when you said yes. He said, 
Oh, like I wasn't? <laughs> like I'm lying about that? Yeah, he's telling the truth. Oh, okay. All <laughs> <laughs> oh, the painful realities of being online. Who is the best video game player of the cast of Silicon Valley? These oh, guys. Thank you for reminding me. Um, look, Kamel's good. Oh. I'm not going to say. He's bad. He's good. You mm. know, put a, put a console controller. Put a console in front of him. Mm. He knows he knows he knows how to work the magic with the controller. But you get me in front of a PC, mm. give me that mouse keyboard. Ooh. No one can even stand to play. I mean, Zach doesn't even know what a computer is. He barely knows how to use his email. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh Brenner, you know, he likes musical theater. Obviously, I'm not saying that that's a reason to not like video games. It's just that's where he spent his energy. Okay, I feel that. So he'll beat me on the musical theater, but uh, I'll beat him in just about anything else. You think you're better than me? PC, yeah. That's the console. No. Thank you. Man. Yeah. No PlayStation. I said peace and blessing. Okay, for sure. Yeah. Thank you, man. <laughs> yeah. Bless up. <laughs> One love, man. Seriously, Ja. Is it true you starred in a McDonald's commercial when you were younger? <laughs> yeah. Be honest. Have you ever ordered a filet of fish? Very possible. I don't think I, if I went, when I was eating McDonald's, it was not after the filet of fish. Yeah, who's you know? And now I don't eat it's it. Like a rare occasion, maybe three in my life. Yeah, I probably have. I probably. I'm gonna say yes. You've been an improviser for many years, <laughs> correct? Correct. Yes. Have you ever considered getting a tattoo that says yes and? <laughs> uh, that is inside baseball. <laughs> yes and? Yes. I mean, no. Could I you? don't do tattoos. I mean, not yeah. on my body. On anyone else's, sure. I think it looks cool, but I'm not cool. You so you would tattoo somebody else's body? Yeah, sh I, if they really want me to, wanted me to, sure. I, it would be a tremendous mistake. Don't know how to do it. Could you improvise a Godzilla impression right now? Yeah, sure. Do it? I mean, we're being taped. Oh. I didn't even see the cameras. <laughs> okay, um... <laughs> You're a little flat. Yeah. Do <laughs> you think I would be good at improv? Yeah. Thank you for thinking highly of me. You sure. auditioned for SNL, correct? Yes. But you didn't get in? No. Do you think Lauren made a mistake not picking you? No. Is there a cast member on SNL right now that you believe you're funnier than? No. <laughs> You've worked with a lot of funny people in your career, is that correct? Yes. You think you're funnier than Zach Woods? No. You think you're funnier than Kumal? No. He's one of the funniest people in the world. Do you think I'd make a good addition to Silicon Valley? Racist. Have you ever watched, <laughs> have you watched all of the Godzilla Let movies? Let me finish. <laughs> no. Because you're black. Thank you. I appreciate you being honest. You got it, baby. Have you watched all of the Godzilla movies? No. Are you afraid of the Godzilla fandom? Uh, yeah. You think Godzilla could beat the Avengers in a fight? No. <laughs> you, recently, you recently get married, right? Yeah. I mean, four years ago. Is that, I guess that's recent to all these old f***ers. <laughs> Do you think your wife made a good choice? Absolutely not. She's regretting it every single day of her life. Would you say that you live by the motto, happy wife, happy life? Absolutely not. But before you were married, did you ever have dating apps? Yeah. If you were on Tinder, what would be your bio? Here to have fun. Let's get silly. <laughs> Do you know I have a two-year-old daughter? No. Nice. Would you, <laughs> would you ever be down to babysit? Absolutely not. Do you think you would be a good father? Uh, yeah. Do you think you're a good father to your dog? Yes. Is being a dog father the same as being a real father? That's yeah, Snoop. <laughs> At any point in this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you. I don't think so. I think I was an honest Abe. Nice. It's so cold. That's that's lie detectors for you. I've always said that. That's literally, it should be my cash raise.
My name is Thomas Middleditch. I'm with the LAPD. Oh, well, that's terrible news for me. Yeah, I'm a detective, and I've been undercover for a long time. Okay. Cool. Is your name O'Shea Jackson Jr.? Yes. Are you 28 years old? Yeah. Are you ready to take the slide detector test? No. All right, let's, get, let's begin, shall we? Did you go to high school at Howard Taft High School? Yeah. Did your father, Ice Cube, mm. also attend that high school? That's true, yes. Who do you think was more popular at school, you or your father? Uh, by far me. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> do you think I was only popular because I was his son. <laughs> <laughs> he he was, made the way. Yeah, he was Hosey's son. You know, it just doesn't have that same ring as Ice Cube's son. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> do you think we would have been friends if we were in high school together? For sure. For sure. Same. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you attended the University of Southern California, right? Yeah. Is it true you took your acceptance letter to all your ex-girlfriends? Oh, yeah. And uh, teachers. Yeah, I, I took it to teachers I didn't like, including... <laughs> Do you think they were impressed? Oh, probably. The ex-girlfriends didn't really matter. It was just to show them that they were they make poor decisions. That's cool of you. Mm -hmm. Do you think I could have gotten into USC? Yeah. It's sort of anybody's game. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I see you as pretty smart. Okay. B plus student at best. Okay. Yeah. That's enough to get in. My man. Would you say you're a fan of your father's music? Yeah. Can you name five of his songs in ten seconds? I will count. Uh, good day. Check yourself. Right. Only one me. Friday. Seven. Players Club. Cool. Who do you think has better game? You or your dad? With the ladies. Oh, me. What about me or your dad? My Keep dad. in mind I've had a lot of sexual my dad. intercourse. I have sexual my intercourse dad. whenever I want because I'm married, so I can my do it. <laughs> <laughs> my dad. Okay. Like any time, unless she's not in the mood, which is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You have a two-year-old daughter, correct? Yes. Are you going to let her watch Godzilla? Of course. Have you ever wrapped her to sleep? Wrapped her to sleep? No, 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 no. no, no. Oh. Save the rap for the stage. Yeah. Um, do you think I would be a good father? <laughs> There's so many father-based questions. Yeah, yes. Do you think I would be a good daddy? Yes. Okay, good. What about a good rapper? Or rapist? <laughs> rapist is so but not good. Not. Yeah, that's true. No, I don't think you'd be a good rapper. Agreed. Okay. You were born in the 1990s, correct? Yeah. Would you consider yourself a millennial? Um... I mean, by the numbers, I guess, but like, I, that word usually is a bad word for okay. some reason. Okay. Yeah, but would you consider me a millennial? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I possess all the characteristics. You're correct. Do you know how many Instagram followers you have off the top of your head? 1.2 million. That's my guy. Do you ever slide in those DMs? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Not anymore. I've had, you know, I haven't been in my Instagram for over a year. And uh, during that time, I got a serious girlfriend. And uh, I'm a dad now. I got, like, responsibilities. That's it's hella whack. That's true. Have you ever slid into a celebrity's DMs? Oh, yeah. You get that verified account. <laughs> yeah, so you, you get yeah, I mean, say, what's up? You know, you have to. You have to at least throw You got to shoot your shot. Go for it. Wayne Gretzky. Have you ever been on dating apps? No. So you haven't been on Raya? No, I don't know what that is. You haven't been on Thrinder? What's that? Uh, no. It's an app for finding threesomes. Oh, really? Yeah. I know. I fucking missed it. <laughs> <laughs> I got married just at, just b before that shit came out. No. I've seen somebody make an account of me on Tinder. That's cool. I mean, I, not really. Oh. Yeah, but, you know, it's cool. Okay. Would you be upset if you found out that was me? No. <laughs> I, I mean, it'd be weird. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Because it was a I while ago. Yeah. <laughs> 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 All right. Um... Now, I do improv, improv, improvised comedy. And a few of your co-stars are big improvisers. Would you say I'm a better improviser than Aubrey Plaza? There's a fellow of Aubrey. Oh, Aubrey's my girl. No. Okay. Well, okay. I can't. Okay. Well, she, just, can't she do. doesn't really perform all that regularly, but... No, you're, yeah. You're, I mean, she's you're, funny. You're Don't get me wrong. She's, so, she's super funny, but she doesn't really like, perform. Like, when's her next show? Off the top of the head. Mine's Tuesday. So, uh, what about um, Seth Rogen? Are you better than Seth? Just as an improviser. I know he's very... Yes. 
But he hasn't even got a UCB. <laughs> um, you're a fan of Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. Do you like season eight? Yeah. Do you like season seven? No. If you could play one role in Game of Thrones, who would you play? Ooh. You gotta be Jon Snow. You have to be Jon Snow. Fair enough. Do you think I could play a convincing Jon Snow? You could play a convincing... No. <laughs> okay. okay. Strike that one. Strike that one. <laughs> <laughs> Next subject, sporting events. Oh, God. Are you a Lakers fan? Yes. Why do you think the Lakers suck right now? Well, uh, I feel like our training staff was to blame for most of it. You know, LeBron missing the most games that he's ever missed in a season in his career on top of Space Jam 2. Uh, you know, there's a number of things that go into the Lakers' terrible season last year, and I, it's looking bad. I've never been this worried as a fan. Do you think um, Kobe Bryant could beat? That's a picture of Kobe Bryant. Yeah, hands down. Do you think he could beat? Hands down. LeBron James. Hands one on one. Kobe Bryant has had my back for twenty years. I just met LeBron. LeBron James is an amazing basketball player, but I gotta go Kobe Bryant. Do you have Kobe day. Bryant's email? Uh, I have Kobe Inc.'s email. Has Kobe Inc. ever responded to one of your emails? Yeah. Do you think it was directly from Kobe? Oh uh, yeah, for sure. He had to do a, a video for uh, for my father for his birthday. I got a bunch of stars to do so it. So you have video evidence of this? Yeah. Okay. Your first major talkie was straight out of Compton, is that correct? Yes. Now, did you feel prepared going in that experience? Um, no, I was super nervous. But, uh, you know, I prevailed. Was it strange for portraying a Compton? Uh, yes. It definitely, uh, I had my feelings about it. I was worried about it. You know, when you're a son trying to move beyond, you know, your your father's shadow, <laughs> and then your first movie, after you look just like him, is playing him. It's uh, it's pretty hard. And then I, I, over time, I just realized that that shadow BS is not real. You know, it's, he didn't do all this for me to not be known as his son, you know, so that was just about me making a name for myself, but that that shadow BS would just drive you crazy. Did he ever, in between takes, lean over and whisper into your ear, you're doing it wrong? No. Okay. He, uh, he, he was super giddy. He, he loved it. Now, you're not only an actor, but a rapper or rapist, correct? Mm, no. <laughs> no. No? I mean, I used to be. Okay. But used to as a rooster that don't crow no more. Mm. And uh, that's when I was like 18. Okay. And I didn't know what to do with my life. And it was like either I could rap, play, I can't join the Lakers no more. And so it was either that or sell my ass. And I just couldn't do that. Oh, okay. So you've never considered selling your ass? No. <laughs> okay. I mean, in these movies, maybe. Okay. So if there is a film doing. about a man who sells his ass. No, no. But it was a good role. Top billing. Number can't one on the call it. sheet. Number one on the call sheet. Listen to me, yeah. O'Shea. All right. Because I got a script. Okay. It's called Ass Seller. It's a little on the nose, but we can work with the title. And it needs a young, sassy L.A. Boy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. He's, he reaches hard times and he's got to what? Sell his Sell ass. Sell that ass. Yeah, okay. I'm cool. It's a miniseries. Emmy. Nah, I'm straight. Thank you, bro. Um, your brother, Daryl, or Daryl, mm -hmm. is also a rapper. Is this correct? <laughs> we all, we both used to be, yes. Oh, okay. So, it's... Family of Hats. When you did rap, yes. who was the better rapper, D-Man or you, man? Oh, me, man. Yeah? I gotta have confidence in me. Everything I do, I gotta have confidence in it. Who is the best rapper outside of Ice, Ice, Ice Cube? The father, in the family. Oh, in the family? Yeah. Oh, this is gonna be me. Okay, so it's Ice Cube, you. In the family? Yeah. I mean, yeah. My dad's untouchable in music, man. It's just no oh, way no, to get yeah, around for it. for sure. There's no way to get around it. So, like, yeah, I got to take that silver medal. Uh, at any point in this interview, did you lie and we didn't catch you? Probably. Whoa. Wow. That was the lie at the end, then. <laughs> 